Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and last year I did the 20 day Pokemon drawing challenge that I found on Tumblr, and I did this challenge on Instagram with Drawing with Waffles, but I thought I would make a video of it just in case anyone else wanted to do this challenge or was interested in the pictures, so enjoy! So day one of the 20 day Pokemon challenge was, are you a boy or a girl? So I had a little speech bubble here that says, obviously I'm a boy, can't you tell? So that was my little Pokemon character that I designed, sort of based on me, although I don't have ripped jeans like that um, for, the, for the challenge. So day two was show us your gear and like it kind of was indicating that you would just show like a picture of your uh, DS because it's not really a drawing challenge but I kind of decided this would be cooler for this question of draw my little rucksack and then everything that I would take with me on my journey. So I've got my little DS. A whole bunch of Pokeballs, old fashioned Pokedex because they're the best, and then a little my wallet and my Motorola flip phone because flip phones are awesome and I still use them, and my MP3 player and some Pokey Dollars. Um, and there's my teddy bear, can't go anywhere without my teddy. Um, there's some underwear, gotta have clean underwear, and toilet paper, and toothpaste, and soap. There's a sketchbook and lots of yummy snacks so that was day two show us your gear day three was um are you gold or silver so i wasn't kind of sure like what this question meant i assumed it meant like which game did you prefer like gold or silver and i was always like a silver fan silver was my game i loved that one um so yeah i just i kind of drew i tried to make myself uh, silver with like this silver pen and silver markers and stuff um, holding a gold Pokeball because I wasn't sure what to do for that one so uh, this was actually a back of a tissue box as well I was felt like drawing on the back of a tissue box so uh, day four was what type are you and I'm fire I absolutely love fire type Pokemon there they're my favorites and then after that it's probably electric or normal or flying those I like those types as well but fire is awesome so it was my day four Day five was what's your nature, like if you were a Pokemon what kind of nature would you be? And I thought I'd probably be kind of shy and timid, because like when I meet people in real life I get like really awkward and I struggle with them, so um, I did myself being all shy, cute and shy, and this was drawing with waffles because she designed herself as a character as well, and yeah, she's giving me a lollipop because she's really nice. So uh, day six was what's your favourite Pokemon game? and um, this one it has to be Pokemon Crystal because it was the first game where you could play as a girl I loved this game with her blue hair and she was awesome and they animated like the characters ah oh, I love this game I put a new battery in it as well but I haven't played it since I put the new battery in it but yeah I tried to make it life-size but so yeah that was that was day six um, so day seven was your favorite legendary Pokemon and my favourite legendary is probably Articuno, Articuno but I, I do quite like that new one, that um, Yvetel from X and Y, that one was really cool as well. Um, but yeah, my favourite was always Articuno, but I thought Mew would be kind of cute if I wanted to do this idea of um, me flying, like trying to fly off with Mew. And Drawing with Waffles did a really great one to this day as well, where she had us uh, both trying to fly to Kanto with our legendary Pokemon and I was just like holding on trying to hold on to his feet. Her picture was really good, you should definitely check her out on Instagram because it was it was a lot of fun doing this challenge with drawing of waffles. So uh, yeah, day eight was um, your favourite Pokemon and my favourite Pokemon is Rattata. It will always and forever be my favourite because I love this guy, he was the first Pokemon I ever caught in Pokemon Blue when I was like 10. And I remember being so sad when I evolved him that I turned my game off and didn't save it so that I could have him just as a Rattata again. And I got him up to like level 100 because I loved him. And my one always has blue eyes because blue eyes are cuter. So yeah, it was day eight. Day nine was favorite map. So I think this was um, I can't, this was like the silver, gold, and crystal map. I tried to draw it with like all the areas and stuff. Um, and then around it, I put like little posters and stuff and. Uh, really badly spelt notices saying trainer tips don't eat the Paris and I got trainer tips over this side that says beware of perverts in the tall grass um, and then the thing that says Gary was here Ash is a loser from season one of Pokemon if you guys remember that far back 
and there's some Growlithe Pappies for sale, 300 Poké Dollars each, um, and then there's a Lost Pikachu poster, and then Wanted Jesse and James poster, and then Who's That Pokémon? It was Jigglypuff. And then the P1 Championship thing that was also in a Season 1 Pokémon episode. And there's my little Rattata being shown the wonders of the map. So, yeah, that was kind of a hard one, <laughs> this one. So, day 10 was um, best location. And I've always loved the Pokémon breeding center. That was always... I just love breeding, especially when you could breed Chinese as well and you just ran around like crazy. So, um, yeah, there, there's my two Rattatas, Ratty and Bitey, getting it on back there. Um, and then it has a... Your Pokémon had an egg. Do you want it? Frick yeah! I want all the babies! So, I quite like that one. This one I wasn't going to spend much time with and then it ended up becoming a whole comic. So, um, his waffles turned up saying, Can I have that one? No, mine! But if I don't help you, it'll fall and break! I got this! Wobble wobble. Wah, my egg! I told you! So, I ended up being like a mini comic for that day. So, that was day 10. Day 11. What was day 11? Day 11 was best Pokedex, so um, I wanted to like do a scene and I'll pop the picture in as well because it's easier than setting it all up, but I wanted to do this like little, little scene. So I created a little pixel art me um, that could fit in the screen of the Pokedex. So this is my Pokedex and then I had like the original, the original Pokemon were like all scattered around it like pressing the buttons and stuff and I'll insert a picture that I put on Instagram because it looks better. <laughs> Day 12 was best plot and I kind of wasn't sure what to do for this one so I put in this little speech bubble that says Pokemon has a plot? I thought we just enslaved cute fluffy creatures and I did myself as Team Rocket because that was the only plot that Pokemon games ever had in like the original ones that I played so there you go, that, that was my day 12. Um, day 13 was your best battle mechanic. And I love, like, in the new X and Y, what I love is the fact that you can have three on three battles. Because I love, like, bird Pokemon and the animations on the wings. That's, like, my favourite part. So I always, like, send out three birds at a time. So I try to do myself with, like, the three the three legendary birds there and I thought that picture was rubbish so I ended up doing like this really really mini chibi one <laughs> which I think is cuter so Wee. but I absolutely love like the animation for this in in the new games of the bird pokemon <laughs> it's great fun um yeah day 14 was one more week to go until the release of x and y because this challenge was quite old <laughs> but um, so for this one, I wasn't entirely sure what to do, so uh, I did myself and Waffles, and the speech bubble says, We got our games already, this challenge is old. And Waffles is saying, I'm kicking your butt, CCL. Whatever, Waffles, I'm still awesome. So we have our, uh, I tried to put the, the little, our Rattata and her Pokemon, the sand shoe, like in the little game bit <laughs> really tiny so and at the bottom uh her sand shoe and my ratata are fighting over my pink hat so i thought that was quite quite cute and the poor hat will get ripped to pieces so that was day 14 and i actually did this one on like a, a live stream and i think the live stream ended up it was the one where the live stream went on for like 10 hours <laughs> hours or something it was like ridiculously long so day 15 was a new feature that you're most excited about and I went with like the pokey puff things of feeding your Pokemon because I thought that seemed like really cool like before I got the game and started playing I thought oh that'd be really cool to be able to feed your Pokemon so yeah that's my favorite new feature um day 16 was a new feature that you're dreading and basically I absolutely hate these sword Pokemon they're flipping swords Oh, and I even said that in the in the speech bubble. These aren't Pokemon, they're freaking swords! And that is how I feel. It's like, I don't want to catch these things. They're just annoying and they have no faces and they're ugly. I know lots of people don't like Clefki, but I actually think that's way cuter than swords. And uh, the little Rattata's got my hat on now because it got all ripped in the Sanju fight. So I've got a new hat. 
but I don't like my hat as much as my nice pink hat. So, day 17 was your favourite new gen, gen 6 Pokemon, and it has to be Talonflame. I love this guy. He's like, oh, he's fire and he's flying. That's two of my most favourite types, and I just, ah, oh, this guy is so awesome. Though, um, he's supposed to be like a lot bigger than this. I think if in person you'd be like really struggling to like hold him on your arm. I think I've done like other sketches and stuff where I've had him like twice the size of me and trying to hold him up. Those were, those were good sketches. I should look those out. Um, but yeah, I love Talonflame. He's so cool. But yeah, him and, him and Rattata are now fighting for first place in my affections because they're equally awesome. So that was day 17. Um, day 18 was, uh, which game do you like the best, X or Y? And I went with I thought Yvettel was like way cooler than that weird like whatever that deer thing's supposed to be and I did myself trying to ride on his head with my Rattata but it was kind of just a sketchy picture because I was getting kind of tired of the challenge by this point so yeah I had a little doodle saying this picture sucks but yeah that was my day 18 um, my day 19 was your favourite who's going to be your partner in the new game and I chose uh, Fennekin because it's a fox and I love fox and the speech bubble says, Ah, oh, I'm never letting you evolve, which I never did because his evolved forms are ugly. I hate his evolved forms. Um, and the final day, day 20, was um, your adventure starts tomorrow. So I did uh, just a sketch because I was really busy on this day, but I'm sleeping and my rat is sleeping in the bed next to me and my hat is on the post and my bag and my alarm clock and my Pokédex and Naughty Waffles has turned off my alarm and is sneaking out of the house early so she can get first choice of Pokemon. She's a bad friend. So yeah, that was my 20 day Pokemon challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the sketch I did a month or two later of uh, the gigantic talent flame trying to sit on my arm and me trying to like hold it up and failing. So yeah, that was my doodle from later on that I did of kind of the same, the same picture as that one. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if you decide to do this challenge yourself because it would be awesome to like see other people do the challenge. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye!